together as a community because this affects every one of us and our kids growing up. Safety at our community. It's also about. It's also about. 
know, probably don't even, probably we need answers exactly. And I mean, there's already been a risk assessment done at a, a, a local nursery, and now they're not taking their kids out. What does that tell you? They're not taking their kids out for a toddle. So, uh, as it's a safeguarding issue in the area, I'm not going to say these people are going to do anything wrong, you know what I mean? But we've got to be, we've got to be prepared as a community to stand together to say this isn't right. Our roads, our infrastructures, our schools, our doctors. We can't do it, you know what I mean? It's, we're struggling as a community at this moment in time. We probably pay more council tax in this area than Johnston, Renfrew, various other areas. But the SNP and other politicians have given us absolutely nothing in this area. Absolutely nothing. So what do they do? They home the home people that are looking for refuge into the country. Guys, it doesn't wash with me. See, as, as my wife had said, if it had been families, if it had been females, if it had been other people, you know, together, who are, are looking for safety, that's different. But why is it it's going to be 200 males? 200 males between 18 and 40? Do you tell me this? Tell me this, if you put 200 at any people of the same the same sex in that, it breeds and it breeds and it breeds. So if there's, there's one bad apple, the whole bad apple spoiled. And it's the safety of your community. That's why I'm here. Yeah. 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 So ladies and gentlemen, can I quickly ask, hands up here if you have emailed uh, your local MP, uh, Gavin Newlands, uh, Michelle John, the SNP. Yeah, okay. <laughs> your four local councillors. Have you emailed them this week? <laughs> Not this week. You must keep emailing, email, keep the pressure off on these people. From what I understand, Sam Mullen, the Labour councillor, I don't know him, uh, sounds like the one that's the most responsive to people's concerns. Excellent. He knew about that as well. Well, that's the case then, but you need to keep the pressure off on these people. Um, that, that's the only way, just browbeat them into it. Well, they might find that the next demonstration is outside Gavin Newland's office. Um, get up to the home office. Where's that? Best not Gavin. I've already checked why are we, it out. Why are we facing each other? It's like a game of tennis. So honestly, get get onto your um. If you I can get the leaflets for you. The leaflets that we distributed in the last couple of weeks. The email addresses for the councillors uh, and the MP and the SNP, MSP, are on that leaflet. I can give you some out of the car if need be. Get emailing. Flood their in inboxes with it and keep the pressure up on them. We'll. Try as we will, we will do our best to get down here every Sunday at 12, get the banners out, get the, the, the MC out, and um, and stand in with you. And stand in with you, because we can beat this, you can beat this. The next time it's my town of Livingston, and I'd like to think people of Erskine to be there standing shoulder to shoulder with the people of uh, the people of Livingston when that does happen. Um, Kenny, do you want to have a say? Yeah. Okay, the, the most important thing, I probably don't need that, I've got a big voice. Um, the most important thing, as far as I'm concerned, is that you get your friends and your neighbours round and all involved. You need as many people in Erskine to stand up with you side by side and come down here. Too many people all talk in Erskine, that's yeah. the issue. The politicians are not just going to listen to you just because you're standing up and raising your voice if there's only like 200 like we've got here. There's more of us here than are over, standing over there. These people organised and shipped in from Glasgow this morning. You guys are the local community, but you need more of you to stand up. And it's not so you've got more of you standing on this but patch of grass and telling people, listen to us, we don't want these immigrants here causing bother, putting our children's lives into danger. What's going to change things is by getting massive numbers and getting more of these good folk in yellow and blue to come out here because they're going to have to pour resources into coming and managing this situation, putting up banners, they're bringing them in from all over. We hit them in the pocket by coming out here every single week, but you can come out in the middle of the week even better because that's what shut down some of these schemes in other places. It's not that the whole community was angry and raising their voice. It was because the politicians were being put under pressure with the letters, with the phone calls, the complaints, and because the police were turning around and saying, we can't keep afford paying overtime to our guys. We can't keep bringing them in from Edinburgh and Glasgow to help man this. They're coming from the other side of the water. They're coming down from Inverclyde. We've put pressure on this more than here today than there was two weeks ago. They've had to go and put these banners up. This is going to cost them and be a bright pain in their arse. 
So that's what this community needs to be. A pain in the politicians' backside, a pain in the police backside, and then they'll turn around and they'll tell the authorities, it's got to get them out of here because we can't keep up doing this. And that's going to be down to you guys. So every one of you, next week, 12 o'clock, bring somebody else with you in your neighbourhood. Badger them, harass them when you go to the pub or go to the shops. <laughs> Constantly talk about this and raise your voices. Talk about what's happening in that nursery. It's, I'm going to swear, but that, that, that for me is the most upsetting thing. You've got, I've, I've got family in this community. It's a lovely place, a good place. I never hear too much bother. But when our children can't even go out at nursery, something's got to change. And these politicians don't. We've been ruled here by, by politicians of the same party. We've got your MP, your MSP, and two, two of your, your councillors, all from the same party, are so in favour of that, it's incredible. These people don't care. If you look at the voting record of Newlands, that's all he's done, he's invited and encouraged these people in. You've got one of the councillors, Campbell, well, who's basically right said, there. this place is, is not well diverse enough, we need no more di diversity. She's not gonna yeah. fight against this. You guys need to do it for yourselves. Well, what we want on is head a community centre to explain to us what they've done about it, how long they've known about it, and they've done it. Straight. Cowards, they've, ca they've cancelled meetings to avoid speaking to That's you right. guys. So you've got to make your own voices heard and get down here in big, big numbers every single week. And no offence to these lovely people here, but we've got to cause them hassle and get their, get the, you know, overtime and their leave cancelled because they've got to come down in police because of these idiots over here who don't even belong in Erskine. So, Let's just say this. I've got leaflets here with the uh, email addresses of the councillors, MP and MSP. If you want to take one and get emailed them, just just badger them with emails. Get on their nerves about it. Go and see them when they have their um, when, when they have their uh, surgeries. What I will say is, your local community council. I'm a local community councillor. They're generally just nice old people. They don't have any real power. Don't go in there. Go to your, go to your local community council meetings, but. It's not the fault of your local community council. So anybody wants, sorry. Yeah. Um, well, go to the community council. And you generally find one of the local councillors generally goes to a community council meeting. I'll go straight to them. Yeah. Hi. Right. Can I just say something here? Yes. Um, I'm from Glasgow originally, right? And I lived in New York in England. I've come up here for the weekend to visit my sister. And I heard about this, and I want to support you guys so much. You're doing a tremendous Thank job. Thank you so much. And I'm going to encourage my sister's neighbours to get online and vote and tell people that they need to support this because you need much more people. Get the football clubs in, get them involved, get busloads of people out here. And if we're not, I'm coming up in a couple of weeks again, I'll be here again. So thank you. Even though I'm not from here, this does affect me. Because after they are stored here, they'll be spread around Scotland. They'll be coming into my community, right? I have young family. Right? I've got a little sister. I don't want them in my community either. They still won't be vetted. And if they're vetted, it'll be all false. It'll be a lie. And do you know what? See, once they're spread elsewhere in Scotland, it's not like it's not your problem anymore. Because they'll have empty hotel rooms to fill up with more of them. Yep. So what I would say to you is that, yes, this is about you. But take all the help you can get from anyone else here. They're making more money taking homeless and refugees in than they are. Like, that, that's right. So if you can, accept help from everyone else, because guess what? It will be their problem as well. And it'll keep being your problem. Thank you very much for hearing me. Well done, James.